Hello everyone, welcome to Thai Finance. Today we're going to talk about horizontal analysis on the balance sheet. I will tell you how to do it. We're going to discuss why it's important to have it in our companies and what is it. So if you think this is interesting, you should definitely watch this video. So what you're looking at right now, it's a normal balance sheet of a company and it's expressed in millions of dollars. Here you can see that we have the assets, uh, the current assets, fixed assets and the totals. Then we have the liabilities and the equity where we have the current liabilities, the equity and the reserves, and then the total of both 2008, 2009 and 2010 years, right? So what is a horizontal analysis? So it's a basic analytical tool to analyze the balance sheet and to evaluate the organization's past financial performance, present financial condition, and it is possible to project the future evolution. So this is a great to get a comparative percentage of all the items of the balance sheet. Where all the balance sheet figures with a base year are configured as equal as 100%. This is the set of numbers of 2008 and subsequent balance sheet items, in this case 2009 and 2010, are expressed as percentages of their values in comparison to the base year. So all balance sheets items will be contrasted with the base year to see the percentage changes. And this is a useful tool to evaluate the trend situation and take better managerial decisions. With this analytical tool, we can trigger action and solve problems that are draining our profits. Now, for this exercise, I prepared this Excel and I will unhide. And here we will do the horizontal analysis. The first year will be our base year, which is 2008 and will be this one as well. So what we're gonna do is just put 100% in each of the cells so we can later calculate and contrast the subsequent years with this year. So let's start. In 2009, what we're gonna do is just press equal, which is telling Excel that we're going to start a formula. And then what I'm gonna do is just, I will do the calculations to put the percentage in this cell. So what we're gonna do is just, because we're in the 2009, I will select the 2009 number, multiply it, by 100, which is our percentage, and then divide it by our base year. So this way we will contrast the information. Here now we can see that from 2008 to 2009, there was a change of 35%, you see? So it's from eight to 11, it's a change of 35% because it was the base year. And now the change, we will look it in this 2009. So what we're going to do is just copy the rest of the numbers uh, with the formula we just did. So we have two options here. What we can do is just press this corner and then drag down and basically all the numbers will calculate automatically because we just uh, set the first uh, cell with the formula. And this is one, one way to do it. And I will reverse it back with control Z. And the second option is just to press shift. We will press the down arrows to select. And then we just press control D. And this will, we will do it the same. And don't worry about the format because then later we will fix it. Then we have our first year. Then the 2010, we will do the same. We will press equal to we will start with the 2010 year, we will multiply it by a hundredth and then divide it with our base year. And then we will press enter and let's practice again. We have two options, either press and drag and or we can basically press shift with our down arrows to select and then control D. 
and for you to remember control D is to control down and this will copy all the formulas with the selected range. So now let's audit the cells to see if it's correct. For example, 86%, we will do control U and we see that all the calculations are done correctly. Then we press enter, then we let's check another one, control U and it's great, it's just the same as you can see and everything is great. To fix the format, I just copied the, the first square, the, I did it previously and then we just select, we copy the format and then we just select again to make it clean and lean again. And now it's fixed and then the rest of the values because there was no number, we just can erase it so that we don't have visual contamination. We can start the analysis. So first we will see what are the changes in cash. So we, we can see here that we increased our cash and this is great for companies. Cash is king in our company. So what uh, cost this increases in cash? We can see that receivables and inventory decreased over these years. So this is a great thing because when you sell your inventory, you're basically getting cash from it. This decrease increase the cash and these receivables is that. So that's great because we're not giving customers credit. So, so we're not investing in customers. So we're increasing our cash. So the current assets basically decreased and this is but we're being more efficient in our operations. Then the fixed assets were decreased as well. This is when somebody sells some fixed asset like a building or computer equipment or it depends on, on what the company is specialized. And then we can see that we have less assets, but that doesn't mean that it's wrong because we have more cash. So it depends on every company, but just mark your cell. Maybe you can put it in red, let's say and to see what is going on with this, right? So let's just mark them. Then let's check the liabilities. So payables, um, paying to suppliers. So in this case, decreased as well. And this is not the best thing because when a company wants to increase their cash balance, they either have, uh, they have some up to so decrease the receivables and the payables increase them. So in this case, we're not leveraging like we did before with our suppliers. This is something that it could be fixed. We can ask for some credit to our suppliers to increase our cash balance. Then the other liabilities are increased as well. So this is not great. So let's mark it to whom we owe the debt. Then we have a bank credit that is decreasing, that this is great. We're increasing our cash, we're paying our debt. So this is correct. The equity our reserves are decreasing and this is not great for for companies because they're not getting net income and they're not increasing their equity. I so, guess this is uh, some things that we have to consider. When, when we have this information, we can start looking for the problems and start planning for the solutions. So I hope you really like this video. If you have any doubts, you can comment below. So I hope this video was useful for you to really subscribe to the channel, hit the thumbs up.